Once again, this is the current state of Capital City. This is our focus city. In case uh, you need to be reminded of the goal of the series is to bring Capital City to 10,000 population, as mentioned on this uh, goals window. Town is indeed growing, which is great. We're delivering enough passengers, alcohol and mail. Not a lot of mail, but at least enough that we're getting a 30% sort of buffer uh, on our minimum requirements. This is not going to be enough uh, soon, so we really need to start developing the outer region of, uh, of Capital City, and that will be the goal of this episode. So why don't we roll the intro and uh, get on with it. All right, so let's uh, zoom out out of Capital City, and I want to focus your attention back into Salt Lake. And by the way, you can see that I've been adding notes all over the place to remind me uh, what I'm actually supposed to be doing. I'm going to send these two trucks to the depot because honestly, uh, they've been sitting here forever. They're not really loading uh, all that much mail. All, all, all thing we need is two, two trucks and that should be enough. They're actually losing quite a bit of money, uh, which is unfortunate. Let me turn this around. Can I maybe make this happen? It's a one way street. I guess they're just going to go back to its own place. Fine. Uh, this one, I'm just going to skip it. Let it uh, go. Oh, we actually have three trucks. So we're going to send this one to the depot as well. We only need two trucks waiting here. Uh, like I said, these trucks are not uh, are not making a lot of money, so we're just going to sell them. My Usually my strategy is to at least have one either train or truck waiting to uh, to load on every on every station basically and in this case uh the, just had a lot of them waiting now uh one suggestion from from you uh, the viewers is uh maybe having some kind of boat service between uh, hamburg and salt lake might as well connect hong kong while we're at it i think this is going to start making these cities uh well not necessarily grow because this one is not growing this one is not growing either but hamburg is actually growing and it's one of the closest cities to capital city so why don't we set up a little uh a little depot here sorry a little dock uh should we connect it to the main station i guess we could oh, it was an interesting uh new uh vehicle we'll take a look at that later on but uh yeah, let's just place it here and might as well connect it to the Hamburg. Uh, another thing that I want to do later, I don't know if we're going to have time to do it in this episode, is like maybe change the orientation of Hamburg as a station, uh, have it a bit more uh, fluid in terms of uh, trains coming in and out and potentially having a service into Porto Alegre as well over here. But that, you know, that that's a separate project that hopefully we can get it. Uh, can get it done in time. Uh, I usually try to put depots in a place where they're not super visible because they don't look great, uh, unfortunately. Let's put another dock over here, and I think we're going to connect it to that station as well. In fact, might as well just connect it to the uh, hotel here. It's not really connected to the hotel, it's just adjacent to the hotel. And uh, we're going to put another depot perhaps uh, here. Why not? We're kind of on the way. So let's just uh, get, uh, let's see, we have so many awesome ships, by the way. Let's take a look at the cargo types and uh, I kind of want to sort them by speed primarily. Um, so this one is 24 kilometers an hour, which is not great. This one is 37, which is also not great. Uh, Madalena, what's the running cost on these? This one's pretty cheap. I mean, honestly, the vanilla one is kind of like metal there. Uh, Island Trader. I guess this one can be refitted to passengers. All right. Um, 30 passengers. I don't think we have, we're going to have enough demand for that many passengers, to be honest. This one... 32 kilometers an hour, 37. Hmm. It's not that much faster, but it's like way more expensive. Honestly, I kind of want to go vanilla, but aesthetically, I kind of want to do something else. So uh, why don't we go with, well, no, there's a huge spike in the cost. Okay, fine. Let's just, uh, let's just go with one of these uh, little guys. 89 passengers, fine. Just have something pretty to look at. So we're going to go from here and, uh, 
we're gonna go to here. And I think we need to uh, create some groups as usual. So we're gonna do uh, passengers and this is SLC to Hamburg. Did I get that right? Yes, I did, cool. So we're gonna put this one in here and uh, while we're at it, actually we're gonna clone it on this other depot. That way there's like, they start at different uh, locations. Let's go to this one. You're gonna go straight to Hamburg first. And let's start with two ships, see what happens. We might add uh, a, a few more if, uh, if it's required. I mean, it's kind of a long distance. I don't know if this is actually gonna be profitable, but hopefully it is. Uh, so I reduced the number of tracks. We can delete this note now. This truck is loading. And I was also thinking maybe we can boost Salt Lake City by delivering food. And we kind of have like an interesting uh, supply chain here. We have a uh, dairy farm here and another dairy farm here that uh, produce, uh, well, milk and livestock. And this one, this um, stock here, here requires livestock to produce food. And we are very close to a food location like this hotel. So maybe creating this uh, little supply chain can start sort of boosting Salt Lake City. So why don't we start with that real quick? I wanna basically have a uh, train line connecting this stockyard with this uh, dairy farm. Maybe another, another train, sort of shuttle train delivering things into this station over here, or might as well just go all the way. I don't know, we'll figure that in a minute. And then trucks sort of bringing things from this uh, stockyard into Salt Lake City. Let's get a station first. And uh, let's go with uh, some fancy stations here. Let's try to make it pretty from the from the get go. So these are like raw material ones. These are farm facilities, grain tanks. Obviously, these are not going to be great uh, grain tanks, but there would be milk tanks. Sure. Do we want to do, let's do the five tile length that I've been doing quite a bit and let's separate it enough from this that it will give us enough wiggle room to, to do other things. Uh, obviously by default, it's not super pretty, but we can like combine it with a few of these. So maybe we can do like a two tile platform in the middle. So now suddenly this looks much nicer. At least I think it looks nicer and might as well just uh, connect this track over here again we're doing all electric at this point it's uh really not uh i mean we're making so much money already that it doesn't make a lot of sense to not do it this way but uh yeah so i guess i want the station here let's connect this like that and let's put the uh two tiles in there so that's looking a little bit nicer And can we just do this? Yes, we can. All right, so let's get that going over there, over there. So now we have a pretty straight line. Should we straight up connect this one and have it go all the way to Salt Lake City North? I guess that, yeah, why not, right? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have this come this way have this come this way. It's gonna be very sort of frugal of uh, of a network system here. It's gonna be just two trains running back and forth, maybe four in total. One always waiting. Actually, if we're gonna have one waiting to be loaded, I mean, this, this distance is pretty short, so just one train back and forth should be enough. This one is gonna be a little tricky, but um, Let's do again the same layout. We'll see how this works. And if it doesn't, we'll change it, which is usually what I do. Boing. Okay, that gave me a, a different style, which is great. So now this, this is like less repetitive. So can we cut through the mountain through here? I think we can. Let's get rid of that. And I think over here, we're just gonna Oops, get rid of the river. Just imagine there's like like a some kind of culvert under the tracks that connects the river. It's fine. That way we don't have to bridge over. Um, so this suddenly becomes a two-way track and uh, this are one-way tracks. 
and there's one sort of uh, station here waiting to be loaded, or sorry, unloaded. Let's put some signals and uh, see what happens. So this will be the entry into the station. This will be the exit here. We're gonna do that and we're gonna do that. That will give us signals pretty much throughout the entire the entire thing. And over here, we wanna maybe get rid of this one, get this one in place, get this one in place, get that one in place. And, uh, and that that's it, because we're only gonna have maybe one train on this on this segment. Yeah, we're just gonna have one train for each of these uh, segments, so it should be fine. Uh, let's put a depot at the end, because I haven't done that in a while. And while we're at it, let's just do the same over here. So we have that, and I guess we could do the same over here. It's a pretty simple layout, nothing too fancy. So, new vehicles. Let's see, I might as well just, uh, let's take a look at what we already have uh, for fruit, for example. So this one is the, what information, the GE steep steeple cab? Okay, GE steeple cab, which should be this one. This one is costing us 18,000 per year and it's doing 80 kilometers an hour, which should be okay. Let's see if we can get a uh, something that's a little cheaper power running cost or or a little faster, but not as, as expensive. Um, for example, this one is significantly faster, but also a little bit more expensive. Why don't we try this one? This one could work. This is the Baldwin box cab. So uh, yeah, let's just buy this vehicle. Just try new things, keep our, our fleet interesting. Let's close that. And uh, now what we need to do is get livestock delivered. So what's the speed on this one? 72, so we definitely need to use this one. Let's go for the uh, four tiles. Four tiles is probably enough. So we're gonna refit to livestock. Eventually, if we're gonna start you know, putting a lot more a lot more, um, whatchamacallit, like start delivering uh, whatever farm supplies to this and, and add more trains to this line. We're obviously gonna have to rework the stations, but for now, I think this uh, small supply chain would work just fine. Um, let's clone this uh, train. There we go, 123,000. This one, however, uh, the Moroni Meadows Depot should actually not go to there and instead go to here. We're gonna skip it and uh, we can start these two trains and now we're gonna group them. So let's create a new group. This is Freight Moroni. Actually, hmm, what do we call this so that it makes a bit more sense? This is uh, Livestock. Man, these names are like way too long. Moroni to SLC. There we go. And uh, is this the one? This is the one. Yeah, because I've been using like these names and now suddenly, I don't know. Well, this is passengers, but like Capital Fruit, Capital Fruit. I, actually, I could just name this straight up. Uh, something else. I renamed the group. So why don't we call this SLC Livestock? I think that will be better than the name that I'm using. And now I can just group both trains. I mean, it's just something to make things easier uh, in the future when I upgrade all of these uh, trains. All right. So these two are working. They're loading up, and they should start delivering uh, livestock into this food factory. Ideally, I would already have some trucks queued up so that uh, so that things, you know, make some money immediately. Uh, I want to extend this station. So we're going to enter here. This is where the road would normally be. And uh, we're going to go to here and here. And we can do something like that. 
and uh, right about here I think this is what we're gonna do so that way we get the three tiles and the town sort of grows uh, reasonably and over here we want to do this 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 and this that way trucks go only one way and uh, why don't we just put a depot here I guess we already had a depot over there we don't need a second depot so let's uh, and we can actually deliver food to our current uh, well we already have the infrastructure there that's what I was trying to say okay stop 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 there we go great sorry buddy but I need trucks to uh, be waiting before you do anything this is mail so we can get rid of that uh, we want food and again we want to sort by running cost so this one is the cheapest one oh they're basically the same okay so why don't we sort by speed <laughs> uh, so this one is the fastest one this one is the slowest one yeah let's go with this one um, so you're gonna go from here wait what why do you already have okay i'm confused shirt order stop sharing i want to full load here uh oh did i screw up the orders of the other trucks please tell me i didn't i hate it when it does that oh come on so yeah full load here go here and uh transfer there we go so now these two trucks should have those shared orders. I don't know why it uh, cloned my orders the wrong way. And uh, here you're just going to unload, which is great. And uh, let's put you in a group real quick. So this is freight SLC food. This is, okay, fine. Uh, SLC food, great. So I guess we're going to have maybe four to begin with. So let's queue them up. These are diesel trucks now. And once they're ready to go, or at least waiting there, we're gonna let them, let these trains uh, go and see see what happens. We're gonna get, hopefully, some uh, food produced. There we go, that's a decent amount of money. I think, <laughs> I hope. Capital City North no longer accepts goods. Ooh, that means that the city's growing. That's actually good news. I hope. I uh, want to make sure that this is actually indeed working. Did I refit the freaking trucks? I did not. Uh, okay. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna need to send you old boys back to the depot. And I missed my opportunity for for food production there. That's that's just that's just great. That's just fantastic. Uh, how is this doing, by the way? In the meantime, it's doing uh, pretty okay, I would say. Are we making money? Yeah, we did make some money. Um, we're gonna refit this to food. I'm sure you were like yelling at the stream, like the stream, uh, yelling at the screen. Oh my god, you didn't refit the freaking things. I usually have like a like a mental checklist that I go through uh, to make sure that I remember to do every one of these things. But yeah, I guess I haven't. Okay, we have another train coming. Come on, come on. This one. This is this is it. This this is. Milk? What is... Wait, I did refit it to... What is happening? Okay, this one has food. Okay, so I, I guess I forgot to refit just the one. Okay, fine. At least the other ones uh, were indeed picking up food. I really hope that this town starts growing soon, because uh, that will be very beneficial. And we're gonna, we're gonna have so much traffic on this on this road. Let's see how this does. Thirteen thousand. Okay, not too, uh, yeah, thirteen hundred. Not too bad. Let's go back to here. Refit this bad boy. Did it work? Can never tell because it doesn't say or give you any notifications. So this train is loading again. This one is coming back with a whole bunch of livestock, which is great. So this is uh. You know, an extra source of income at, uh, you know, if it, um, if it wasn't, uh, 
if this is not what tricks Salt Lake City to grow even more, at least we're, we're going to get some money in return, which is great. Let's see what happens once this uh, train gets in. It should, uh, it should give us, uh, well, first of all, a little bit of money and also provide uh, enough supply for food. Let's see. So we have 30 tons of food. Yeah, it's not like an amazing production per se, but it's like pretty decent. Uh, another thing that we can do is get this um, water system going where we fish from here, take it to this uh, fishing harbor and then have another boat, maybe pick up the uh, production and shuttle it to Salt Lake City North. So now we have extra food sort of coming in. At that point, we might as well just have an extra train station that deals with the output of food and sets it to this hotel. But, yeah, I mean, one of the requirements eventually for Capital City will be food, unless I'm mistaken. Let's see, do we have global goals? Uh, I know, maybe here? I know one of these, like, actually tells you the requirements. I can always go into the uh, script settings. Click here, configure. So, alcohol. Hmm. Building materials, chemicals, good. Clay, coffee, farm supplies, food. Yeah, I think at some point we're gonna start delivering food and maybe we'll like shift all of this food production into Capital City. But uh, I guess that will be a problem for, uh, for a future self. Okay, so we have this running. Uh, how many people are waiting here for passengers? Oh, quite a bit, actually. So why don't we clone this ship once more? And uh, what's the deal here? Yeah, I guess we can uh, clone this ship once again. So f having four ships here would, would potentially help. Man, this is so slow. <laughs> uh, you are going to go turn around, and you are actually going this way, so that's great. Hong Kong, we might leave that for later. Not not a huge worry right now. But yeah, things are looking good. So before I finish this episode, let's see if we can start uh, making this station pretty, which is the also the other note that I have. Uh, this is already a city station, I think. So why don't we... Well, I mean, honestly, I kind of like these a bit more. <laughs> not gonna lie. So number of tracks two. Let's get... Uh, these bridges over here and uh, let's get these outer platforms in there and I kind of want to mix them up with this just because it has the grassy side that I kind of like so there you go that's a nice station uh, let's see if we can get like slightly different design I guess I could have used this right but they don't look awfully bad without it yeah this one could have like a more, much more a traditional looking design. So we can have, let's have this here, right in the middle. Oh, local authority doesn't like me. Oh, that's great. Oh, very poor. Let's, let's just bribe them with trees. Poor. Is poor good enough? It is not. Nope. Never mind. Oh, because there's a train in the way. That's, that's, yeah. Okay, I get it. Okay, now it is enough. Fantastic. Cool, so let's get those in place. And uh, let's get that in place. <laughs> and I wanna get this like sort of central building in the middle with the, uh, with the little clock thing. Actually, we can put this one here, put this over here, and put this over here. That looks slightly okay. Actually, you know what? I'm not a huge fan of this clock now. There we go. That's much better. I like that. Uh, We're still going to keep these uh, tiles bought because uh, I, I imagine Reykjavik and, and Chicago are going to grow tremendously. In fact, they're already growing, which um, makes me believe that we need one extra boat service between these two stations. Or honestly, we could have just easily get a train service. Why don't we do that in the next episode? Why don't we connect these two, uh, these two towns with a, uh, I guess, suburban service that uh, takes advantage of this uh, 
of this existing net, or we'll have to rework it a little bit, but uh, I think this this would be uh, an interesting setup. In fact, we might, we should probably move this branch line right closer to them. I don't know. So many, so many thoughts. Um, but I think, uh, I think I'm ready to wrap this one up. If you enjoyed this episode, please consider giving this video a like. And if you're new to the channel, uh, you might also want to consider subscribing as well. And uh, finally, I'm pretty active on Twitter, so you should uh, follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash toaster. All those links will be in the description uh, if, you, if you're interested. But uh, yeah, that's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.